to my channel it's your girl tiffany and today's video is one of those rare videos that i come on here in the intro with no makeup on i mean of course i have on brows and i have on gloss you guys can tell that but i don't have on nothing else so today's video i am super excited to film because i got a whole bunch of new stuff okay so i finally finally ordered something from beauty bakery and it got here today i'm super excited so i have a box right here on the floor and you guys will see what i got in a moment i also got the new l'oreal concealer i believe that you guys saw me use that in another video but i'm actually going to talk about it in this video for you guys then i finally got a palette from makeup revolution i got um the berries and cream palette from dominique cosmetics um i have this new gloss i use something new in my eyebrows and these products are not new products but these are new products to me so that is why i'm doing this video because I'm excited so yeah if you guys are excited too and you want to see what I got then make sure you stay tuned to okay so now we're getting into that good good so I got my face products from um beauty bakery so here is the box that came in like <sighs> I could die like I've seen the box like on Instagram and all that but like you get in it it's like something totally different so that is the box that it came in I did get the cake mix foundation demi matte um this box like beauty bakery can you not like what so freaking cute and then on the back it has like the little um directions one prep two mix and three bake so this is what i'm going to be using today on my face i also got so where is this i got the what is this the baking oil for face so i'm pretty sure you're supposed to use the baking oil first like as a primer and then the foundation so i'm going to do that like does it have okay perfect gently massage two to three drops onto clean skin allow the baking oil to absorb into skin before applying makeup okay so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna clip this wig back and I'm filming this right now um it's not like the latest that i filmed but it's pretty late for a wednesday night um oh this is so neat did it break inside of here i don't know but this is the bottle it is super cute so i'm going to do i to yeah twist this off push this oh i like these little these type of applicators where you push it in there and then the product goes in there so i'm gonna push this i don't have nothing on my face I'm going to, I don't want to put that over top of my eye. This is, just, oh, Jesus Christ. It just laid down my face. So that is, this is one, two, four. I look like I'm crying. Oh, this feels good. It has like a lemony scent. Honestly, I'm not the best at describing scents. The only scents I really can describe well is if something has like a vanilla or like a lavender scent. Mainly because those are my two favorite scents so of course i could describe those well because um i love them i'm going to use this flat brush to apply my foundation and while this is soaking in because it said let it sit for like it just says let it absorb into the skin before you put anything over top of it so that's what i'm going to do okay so i got the shade 17 so this is like i said the cake mix demi matte foundation vegan long lasting non-acnegenic formula and this comes with one fluid ounce that's pretty standard so this is the bottle it's the frosted glass i think it is so pretty um i swatched this earlier but not much so i'm not really sure if this shade is going to work um but what i did swatch oh that that put a lot on in that one place but what i did swatch oxidized a little bit um so i'm not really sure how this experience is going to go but you know we're going to see and i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be full coverage i put it somewhere where i had like a little dark mark to see and it covered it up so i don't know if that was because that's the only place i put it or the coverage was just good i'm not 100 percent sure the foundation has a scent too it's not a bad scent i don't know what it smells like but 
I don't mind the scents of any of these things. Can you tell I don't have any foundation on my forehead? I normally don't put too much on my forehead anyway, but like, is it obvious? Okay, that's all I'm going to put on my face. I don't feel like I need another pump. The coverage looks really good. Um, I did notice when I saw other people um, reviewing it when it first came out, it dried down tremendously. You know what? If y'all can see my chest, this is a tad bit darker than that. So it, kind of, it matches my face, but like, yeah, it's a little it's it's quite a bit darker than my chest i mean that's fine we're gonna work with it so like i said for concealer <laughs> i didn't wet my sponge one second play myself i had to go wet my sponge so like i said i got the new l'oreal infallible full wear more than concealer am i reading something different than everybody else because i swear every time somebody else like reads the label on this they say fresh wear but nowhere on here does it say fresh wear so like do i have the wrong concealer y'all let me know because now i'm confused and i don't really know what's going on but this is the one i got and this is what we're gonna use today so i got the shade honey 415 and I'm going to use this to highlight today. And if I feel like I need to brighten up a little bit more. Because I feel like this foundation is a tad bit darker than I'm used to. But um, we're going to work with it. And, you know, move on. So I'm going to highlight in my normal areas. That's what I use anyway. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso to contour the face today and put a little bit on the sides of my nose. A little bit, a little bit. I have realized that I don't really need to um heavily contour my forehead i have a little one so yeah that's that so before i even blend this out let me tell you guys what i'm going to be powdering my face with so i finally picked up the flower powder so this is the i'm about to say container this is not a container this is just like a little packaging it's so freaking cute and i got the translucent one because i think i got translucent i forgot got translucent let's see it's been sitting quite a bit i haven't let this concealer sit on my face this long um so i guess we're gonna see what it's hitting for once i blend it out i got translucent yes i got translucent because i don't know if y'all noticed but i don't really use yellow tone powder it's not like my favorite i prefer a translucent powder so this is the container i know you already know how it looks but it's so freaking pretty Seconding. so i just wanted to show you guys let me see if it has a little thing on there okay it's a little twist up top i just wanted to show you guys before i got to um into blending out everything because i did not want to blend out everything and then have it just sitting and not getting set not really sure why i just blended this out with the foundation brush but you know it's happened and we're already here so that's what we're doing i guess So I don't know, this is how much I dusted off. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. I'm gonna press my beauty blender in there. It looked like it was fake trying to like press into some random pocket on my face just now but it's not doing that no more so once you press it in oh this looks good 
so far i am liking the powder i like how it sat on my face prior to like putting it on to bake um it looked really good once pressed into the skin so now i'm gonna jump into eyeshadow and i don't know which palette i want to use because i've used both of these off camera to test them out and that is the makeup revolution and so palette the extra spice one and this is how this one looks so all of makeup revolution's palettes have this giant i'm not going to show you guys but this whole top thing is a mirror so they all have this little um mirror and then they're mostly pretty big from what i saw but this is my first palette i've actually purchased and this is this palette and i think this would be super cute you know because the colors in there but then i also picked up this berries and cream palette by dominique cosmetics which also has a mirror on this top part and these are just like some mauve tone like I, want, I wouldn't say rosy tone, but definitely not, but like more neutral, earthy tones, plus, you know, like the little pinks and all that. So I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I've been loving them both, honestly. Maybe I'll use some of both. Um, hmm. So I just learned that my little table, it's not a table, it's like a, a organizing stand that has like some of my makeup in my eyeshadow palettes. Um you can put it down oh this is the little is it called izzy this is the sparkling clementine honey these are so freaking good i get mine from chipotle so <laughs> that's what i ate for dinner so i'm going to go in and i guess i'm going to start off Oh, there goes the mirror with this yellow shade. And then I think I'm going to go into that pinkish shade. So I'm going to start off with the shade Vitamin C. And like I said, it's that yellow. And we're going to see. I haven't used this color out the palette. So I don't know the payoff or nothing. Oh. Uh, this isn't the best yellow I work with. Honestly, it's kind of ashy. I don't really know. This Juvia's Place palette has a yellow. Okay, I'm gonna dip into my James Charles palette and use the shade B. I think this will give me like that pop that I want a little bit. Well, at least a little bit better than that one out the Make a Revolution palette. Okay, so that yellow did a little bit more for me. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's definitely there and it popped a little bit more than the yellow out of this palette. Dang, I forgot about this masquerade palette by Juvia's Please, Now I want to use that. Okay, so I'm going to dip back into this one and I think, should I use the orange next? Eh, why not? So I'm going to dip into this orange first, pop that in my crease, and then use this pink so the orange is called sweet and sour oh i haven't used this orange yet wow you know what's so funny how, how I'm saying, wow, that's literally how I talk to my son. Like, if he does something, I'm like, oh my gosh, Aiden, wow. <laughs> no, dead ass. Okay, so I'm gonna dip into this Juvia's Place palette and I'm gonna go into this purple. And that is, that's not micro pronounced, that's, that's Zobo. Yeah, I really don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but. That's how we're pronouncing it today. Okay, so I got, obviously got to pat that on first before I try to swipe it out. Because when I just try to blend it into my crease and just blend it, honey, nothing was happening. So, okay, let me pat, pat, pat. Mm-mm. It's into it, it's into it. 
so am i gonna use this blue nail mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna dip into this blue from out the dominic cosmetics palette and it's called the blueberry muffin and i'm going to pack that on oh hello on my outer corner and i'm not going to blend it out i'm just packing I am getting quite a bit of fallout as you guys can see. Um just patting it on here. I'm not swiping at all. And just tap 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 tap. Guys, um I went ahead and finished this eye, but this blue has given me such a hard time, like the hardest time. Every time I put anything near it, it basically just like blends into oblivion. So um it's honestly about 10 minutes later from when I like said I was going to go off camera to finish. Um, and this is what I came up with. I mean, it looks good now, but like the process of getting here was kind of nerve wracking. Like, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to dip back into this palette and take this gold shade right here and this shade right above it. So the gold shade is called LA Sun. And I'm going to place that on the innermost part of my eye so like i said i'm gonna take that shade that's right above it and that's called romance honestly everything is just going wrong at this point like i don't even know like what to do i'm so frustrated right now like i want to stop recording i'm not going to because you know I have to finish but I'm so frustrated right now and I'm gonna keep this in the video so that way y'all know like this you know stuff is real it really happens and I am very distraught right now so I'm going to dip back into that blue Ugh, I hate this eye and I'm gonna use my M167 and pack this on I'm not gonna blend it out because once I start blending out, that's when it starts losing color. And that is not what I want. I need the color to stay because it's carrying around to my lower lash line. So, yeah. But I'm so frustrated right now. Like, y'all have no idea. I don't seem as frustrated as I honestly, truly, really am. So, I'm going to carry this blue around onto my lower lash line. See, like, on my little lash line, it cooperates. But, yeah, as soon as I even touch it up here, it starts disappearing. Don't really know what that's about. Like, I haven't even the slightest idea, honestly, at this point. I really don't even care that it's all from that palette for right now. So, I'm going to dip back into the extra spice palette and use this pencil brush and use that orange which was sweet and sour and buff that on my lower lash line and time so then in my waterline i picked up two of the urban decay 24 7 glide on pencils this is in the shade mainline and it's just a teal and i'm gonna pop that in my waterline yeah that's cute okay so i'm going to dust this powder and stuff off my face and probably pop on some lashes probably the baddie b lashes and saucy and yeah then i'm gonna be right back shambles um after going through that debacle with my eyes um i like how the look turned out in the long run but really like even look it's just a lot going on right now <laughs> 
a little stressed out it's okay we're gonna finish though so now i'm going to move into the face and i think besides the foundation this is what i was the most excited about this is the beauty bakery better not bitter coffee and cocoa palette and i believe this is a bronzer and blush palette if i can get it out And I just think it's super, oh, it had that little slip in there. I just think it's super cute, like, oh, to die for. So y'all already know, I'm actually going to use all the shades that are in here. So for bronzer, I'm going to take this anti-depresso, is that what it says? Yeah, anti-depresso, and I'm going to use that for bronzer today. I'm going to use my Morphe um, and Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. I don't want to put too much. That's pretty. That is so pretty. You hear me say I don't want to put too much and then I just put it all over my face. Oh, that is so pretty. Super a duper pretty. And then I'm going to use this blush, La Vida Mocha. It's this like berry tone color that's in here and it's so pretty. a little on the tip of my nose let me spray my face French and the highlighter is called you're grounded yeah it's this shade right here oh it's super buttery oh wow wow it seems like it might clap back at me I'm gonna use my Milani um highlighter brush i don't know, exactly know what the brush is called i just know that this is what it looks like and i know that it's a highlighter brush so i'm gonna dip into oh oh that's pretty and i think i'm going to use let me see how the pink looks should i see how the pink looks I want to see how the yellow looks because it's not that bright. Um, yeah, that's not doing it for me. So I'm going to go back into my James Charles palette and get that yellow and pop that in my inner corner. Yes, that is perfect. I did not want to overdo it with um, a shimmer in the inner corner since I already have a shimmer on my lid. Oh, that is perfect. So for liner, I'm going to take this NYX liner in Espresso. I did go ahead and sharpen all my pencils. I also picked up what is this a beauty bakery cake pop lippy and i got it in the color bastani iced a mini soft matte lipstick and this is the packaging that it came in like beauty bakery is just doing it for me with this packaging like can we talk about iconic like iconic gosh this is so cute and it's just like a, oh, this is so much prettier than I thought. Oh, this would be perfect. It's like a nudish color. Oh. It looked like it was nude. It's definitely pink. Okay. This is pretty pretty though oh oh the gloss that i have had on this whole video is from brooke tiana cosmetics 
and she has a YouTube. I'm not sure if she uploads on YouTube anymore, but um, I believe this is the one Sean, Sean. I don't know. I will definitely put it um, down in the description box, but it's super cute. It has like um, green and like, is this the one that has the green or is this the one that has the blue? Like blue, green, like glitter in it. I'm gonna put this over top. Mm, mm, mm. See booty today. Oh, yes, this is perfect. Oh my goodness. So I didn't put my lashes on yet. I'm about to do that, and then I'm gonna be right back. And then okay. So truth time. I filmed this outro twice already, and both times it's been super long. So I'm gonna try to cut it down, and keep it as short as possible. Um, everything I use in the video, I pretty much have liked. And the only things that were really like new, new that I haven't used prior to this video were all the beauty bakery things. And out of those new things, I really love the freaking baking oil i love love this it smells so good number one and it's not heavy and yeah i know i hate when stuff feels heavy on my face i already tell you i tell you that all the time um the foundation is sitting really good on my skin it's matte but it's not like you know like my face doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off um and the bronze and palette the bronze and palette oh my goodness oh my goodness the shades in it are so freaking pretty like look at my face right now everything highlighter blush and bronzer are all from that palette and nothing else and i am loving every second of it the concealer y'all seen me use on camera before these lashes y'all seen me use on camera before um the lipstick i love it was way more pink than i initially thought it was but i love the color the lip gloss bomb i'm gonna put brooks um website down in the description box so you guys can go check her out because honestly her lip glosses are bangers like she has several different like colors and tints and all that and sis know what she doing so brooke i see you girl <laughs> i see you boo um what else did i use the baking powder oh the eyeshadows i've used um the eyeshadow palettes before separately and i feel like they performed way better than they did today i mean the Mega Revolution one performed fine for every shade, but the Chris and Dominique one was acting up a little bit when I was trying to put this blue on my eye and have you know settle. Um, but I'm gonna use all three of the palettes separately so you guys can get a feel for the palette. So that way, if you don't have them, you can gauge whether or not you want to pick them up because I would definitely recommend all three of them. But just so you guys can see like separately, you know, what's really good. I'll do separate videos for those. Um, that's really all I gotta say for this video because I do not want to keep you guys here super long. But like I always tell you guys, if you haven't liked this video already, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and hit the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you get a notification. And I upload every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, okay? Don't have a set time, but just know, look out for me on those days because I will be up, okay? Okay, so like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.